Hey there, today I'm going to be talking about a few Chanel-esque items I've picked up recently. I'm going to be unboxing something I picked up as well from actual Chanel. Some chit chat in general. If you want to know more about that, please stick around. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your cup of coffee, your favorite fragrances, handbags, skincare, or items that are like those fancy things we like to treat ourselves with. And sometimes, let's just be honest, we can't always buy the real thing. And it's not necessarily a bad thing to get an inspired item, something similar, get you the look for less. It's it's not necessarily the worst thing out there. So I've come across a few things. I've got one thing that uh, another YouTuber friend um, posted about and I had to run and get them myself. So hopefully they're still available. If they are, I'll link them down below. But I thought I'd chat about just some of the things I found recently that I thought were interesting and why I thought they were interesting and kind of go from there. So I hope you stick around with me. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all those things we love you to do. Um, definitely want you around to hang out with. So I definitely enjoy talking with y'all. So let's get started. Today we are going to talk about Chanel in particular because, you know, those price, price increases have gotten a little, little, you know, out of control. Just going to say it. So a few months ago, I had a collab with Dee Dee Bean and we did a um, little project DIY on um, the holiday gift bags that were in the beauty section. So we converted our little um, pouches into handbags. And I thought, well, that, you know, isn't necessarily a look for less per se. I mean, I guess so in, in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's, it's literally a Chanel item that you've, you know, done your own, um, work on, but I've noticed that there are a lot of, um, you know, inspired like products out there. And we've got, you know, this is one method to get that look. Um, Super Jacob recently on one of his lives was talking about taking the camellias from the packaging and um, making them into um, brooches or um, any kind of other decorations as well. And he like was hand painting them um, and then uh, gluing um, a pin on the back of them and they're just gorgeous. So he's doing wonderful things with like repurposing the items that um, come from Chanel. I think that was just a really fun idea and also kind of the why I feel that inspired or look for less type of products aren't necessarily a bad thing. Um, you know, flagrant, you know, oh. design rip off in the sense of like counterfeits. Okay. <laughs> you know what? That's one thing we're talking about, you know, looking like, but not, you know, actually being, um, the product itself. So, um, I've got a couple of items here. We're going to talk about, um, a couple of cheap Amazon things. And then we'll talk about some more, um, I think useful items as well. So, um, and then I also have a little unboxing of some Chanel beauty to talk about too. But, um, the first couple items I wanted to talk about were these Amazon items and they reminded me, um, when Jacob was doing his, um, project, I had this from an order and it has the similar backing that he's using to create the, um, actual Chanel Camellia pins, but it just, I just thought it was really cute and picked it up quite some time ago. The Camellia is slightly different. Um, you can tell it doesn't have that, um, indentation, that mark that the typical and all sort of picture of the Chanel, um, design. So it is not the same. It's just the look for less. I think this was maybe like $10 and I just thought it was really cute. That's why I, I was using it. Um, I have, you know, some scarves and things. So in the winter, 
it just seemed like a really pretty addition to coats, hats, what have you. So um, that was one item. And then similarly, there are, um, let's grab the whole thing. There was this set for about $10. Um, on Amazon as well. So a number five, because we all know number five, but, um, there's a couple camellias on here, a shoe, a perfume bottle that looks esque, like Chanel number five esque. Um, and then the little envelope, they're definitely not ex you know, at, at all exact, but they're, you know, just a nod to the the fashion house. So I thought that they were really cute. So similar in nature, wearing them in um, conjunction with or around um, the style of, of a Chanel type of purchase. So um, one of these pins with a scarf or um, what have you just seemed like, like fun. So again, Amazon, like 10 bucks, cheap, cheerful. I thought they were fun. So those are those two. And my next are um, shoes. So um, Laura Kamachika did a, I think spring haul, if I remember correctly, I'll link her video. Um, and she talked about these shoes from Target and she got the cutest one. They were tweed and fabulous. And oh my God, I died. Um, but, but I went on, they didn't have them in my size. Um, they didn't have them in my store, so I had to actually buy them online, but I did find, let me get the little padding out of them. I did find these. So they're a new day. I mean, I literally just got them. I haven't even put them on yet. <laughs> so, but they're very cushy. So I can't wait to wear them. Um, they were... $20, I believe. It says 30 on the tag, but I didn't spend 30. So they were on sale. I want to say that they were like 25. So very reasonable price that, you know, Chanel like look on them. So there's that set. And then I got these and I have used these. These are from Aldo. And these are comfy as all get out. They, the, I love them. So these are, are just great. These were a little bit more. I believe these were $40, um, but I really, um, I really like them. I mean, I, I probably even like them better than the ones I've tried on from Chanel, quite honestly, but you know, my, my opinion, um, let's see here. Genuine leather from Aldo. I don't think these are. I'm pretty sure these are just like manufactured. Yeah, man made, made in China. So the Aldo ones I think are really nice for the money. They had other colors too, um, but I liked the nude, um, the nude ones. So I thought those were really nice. So again, just you know, look for less type of purchase. I thought they were really cute. So let's go on to the actual real stuff. <laughs> so I picked up a um, Chanel item. I wanted to see if I could get one of the camellias for Mother's Day and true to form didn't, they just sent this plain box. Um, even though online, the funny thing is when you order, it says it's going to come in the packaging, but it, I've never ever gotten what they advertise on their website. So one of these days I'll have to order directly from a boutique and see what happens, but we just, we don't have one here in Oregon. We have, um, some counters within like Nordstrom and Macy's, but we don't have an actual Chanel beauty boutique, um, in Oregon. So it's kind of hard to, and the, the one sales associate I have is in Chicago and she's really, really, really busy. So, um, I just hate to bother her, <laughs> but anyway, so got the box and we have a sample and I love their dust bags. They're really nice, even for just beauty. So we have a Hydra Beauty micro cream. Chanel number one serum 
and I got three. Two. I got two of the Chanel Number no. One serums and then the Micro Cream Hydro Beauty. That's nice. There's that. And then the only thing I bought was another one of these sticks, the multi use bomb essential sticks. They were sold out of Mermaid, so that bummed me out, but I ended up getting Drage, which is the pink. And I just thought that was really, really pretty. You probably can't even see it on there, but um, I had purchased a Dior um, rosy um, illuminator. I'm wearing it today on my cheeks and it's just a little bit too bright. I really had to diffuse this and I still think it's too bright. Um, so this, this is showing up in the method that, uh, or the manner that I had hoped the Dior one was going to show up. So maybe, um, I just need to work on utilizing it better, but this is definitely the, the way to go. So multi-use glow stick. The mermaid one is so pretty. Again, speaking of um, when Super Jacob uses it, he, look, he looks great when um, he wears it. So um, maybe they'll come back in stock and I'll pick one up at some point. But I think that this one is just to die for. Love it. So that is my little mini Chanel haul and Chanel-esque deep type of haul. So if you are into getting the look for less as well, please comment down below. Let me know what you um, find out there, what you're into and share the wealth because I'm all about saving a little money over here so we can get a little more over here. <laughs> so a little more money for the bags, a little less on the feet, a little less on the fragrance, whatever, whatever, whatever takes, um, whatever works out and gets us a little more of what we want to treat ourselves with. So I hope to see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Thank you.